Hi, I'm Deborah Ancona, and on behalf of the MIT Leadership Center, it's my pleasure to welcome Laurent Lamotte, the former Prime Minister of Haiti, to our video series. Welcome. Um, I guess that I would like to start off with asking you a little bit about yourself as a leader um, before we get into all of the things that are going on and have gone on in Haiti. And so the first question I have for you is, can you tell us a little bit about what we at the MIT Leadership Center call your leadership signature. If you were to describe in a few words or a few phrases, what kind of leader are you? If I had to describe in a few words the type of leader that I am, I would say determined uh, person, uh, somebody that acts with my heart, and one that, is, that wants to see things through and very detail-oriented. So those are the, my, uh, the style that I, that, that I carry in terms of uh, management, in terms of leadership. Okay, so you mentioned two things, your heart and also very detail-oriented. How did those come together? Because one really speaks to feelings and kind of a larger picture, and the other is kind of more about the, the getting things done. Well, to reconcile both, I believe that in order to make a good decision, it has to come from the heart. And then, and then you have to have uh, the approach, the detailed approach, in order to, to make it uh, go through. So making decisions have to come. You have to feel that you are in the right, and that the decision is righteous, and that you're doing the right thing. And that, that only comes from your heart. So how do you think you came to be this kind of, from the heart, get it done kind of leader? Um, was it something that you were born with? Is it something you developed as a child? Is it something that comes out of your training or a mentor or experience? How did, how did you come to be this kind of leader? Because it's not always easy for people to know what's in their heart, to know what it is that they think is, is the right thing to do. Well, I think it's a combination of, of many things. But uh, the most important thing of all is, is, is that you know a leader you called upon to make decisions every day and several decisions that have to be in several sectors and sometimes that, that are not related to one another. So you need to have sort of a grounding, mm -hmm. an internal grounding to make sure that, that, that this decision that can impact the life of millions uh, is one that you, that, that you care about and that you feel is the right one. You know, I was a, a tennis player um, all my life, I played tennis for, for 15 years professionally. I think that shaped also some of the decision. Being aggressive uh, in tennis, be, being very uh, passionate, um, and, and also um, determined to, uh, to see things through at the end of the day. So you were a successful entrepreneur. You were running a business. Uh, you were not that involved with Haiti. And suddenly, you left that to become uh, involved in government as the foreign minister and then as the prime minister. What was it that led to that shift? And what was different about leading in the private sector versus the government? Well, the main difference is that in the private sector, you make your plan, you, you have your execution, and, uh, and you reap the, re the rewards or you reap the, the negative side, but it only impacts you and a few shareholders mm -hmm. and a few members because it, you know, it was a private company versus the public sector that uh, you have a wide array of, uh, of sectors that depend on your word, that depend on your decision, and that decision has the potential of impacting the lives of millions and some, some don't even, you've, you know, most you don't even meet or, or, or have you will ever meet, but then, and that's why it's important to make the right decision. Because uh, if the decision is wrong, then you will have failed millions of people. So the stakes are completely different. Abs and completely. Mm -hmm. And the why you decided to, to make that shift? Well, I have to tell you that um, Haiti was always, you know, in my, very, very close to my heart. Uh, I used to play tennis and I represented Haiti in many international competitions. I played Davis Cup and I represented Haiti. So I was, you know, I, I was always proud to be, 
to be uh, from Haiti and I was, you know, always proud to, to promote my country and to, to play and therefore to fight for the, the colors of the flag. So um, now I went to school and then I, I uh, opened a business that took me to many countries around the world. Uh, to 41 countries, the company operated in 41 countries that took me, so for my professional uh, duties, it took me to, to uh, around the world. Uh, and then what, what the, the, the difference maker is the earthquake, the devastating mm -hmm. earthquake mm -hmm. that, that took the life of 250,000 Haitians and where we had half a million Haitians wounded. And uh, that same year, uh, my good friend, the current president, Michel Martelly, told me that uh, we have to make a difference. We have to do something for Haiti, which has not been done before. And, uh, and he told me that he's running for president and if I wanted to accompany him in the journey. And, uh, you know, but having seen the, the, the devastation, the hurt, having seen the suffering of, uh, of my countrymen and women, I said, you know, I want to, it was my calling. I said, I have to, I have to make, I have to participate in that effort and leaving the private sector aside and, and, and diving into uh, in, in, to help the millions of compatriots that, are, that have been uh, devastated by this uh, catastrophe. So President Martelli went in and uh, the people gave him a vote of confidence. The people voted <laughs> Martelli at 68%. And uh, so I started serving as his advisor in charge of mostly uh, project management. Um, and then from there, he nominated me as his foreign minister, so I was in charge of the country's foreign policy. And after four months, uh, I, got an, I, I got a promotion uh, to prime minister. Mm -hmm. So I stayed prime minister for 31 months, something that, uh, that I could not have dreamed of in terms of, uh, of benefit, um, in terms of, of, of output and in terms of performance, that I was able to serve my country for, for 31 months and doing it in a dignified, uh, honoring way um, and making a difference.